Learn about Indonesian Bolu Kemojo. Indonesia is a country with a rich culinary heritage, and one of the most beloved Indonesian treats is Bolu Kemojo. Bolu Kemojo is a type of sponge cake that is soft and fluffy, with a unique flavor and texture that sets it apart from other cakes. What makes Bolu Kemojo so special is its versatility, as it can be flavored in a variety of ways to create a range of delicious and unique treats. Bolu Kemojo is made from a simple batter that includes flour, sugar, eggs, and baking powder. The batter is mixed and beaten until it becomes light and fluffy, then baked to perfection. Once the cake has cooled, it can be flavored in a variety of ways to create different types of bolu kemojo. One of the most common flavors for bolu kemojo is pandan, which is a tropical plant that is commonly used in Indonesian cuisine. Pandan leaves are often used to add a unique, natural flavor to foods, and in the case of bolu kemojo, they are used to create a vibrant green sponge cake. Pandan flavored bolu kemojo is often served as a snack or dessert, and can be enjoyed on its own or with a cup of tea or coffee. Another popular flavor for bolu kemojo is cheese. This type of bolu kemojo is often made with cheddar cheese, which gives it a savory, slightly salty flavor. Cheese flavored bolu kemojo can be served as a snack or as a side dish and is often enjoyed with a cup of hot chocolate or coffee. Bolu Kemojo can also be flavored with other ingredients, such as chocolate, fruits, or nuts. Chocolate-flavored Bolu Kemojo is a popular choice for dessert, and is often served with whipped cream or ice cream. Fruit-flavored Bolu Kemojo is a refreshing snack that is perfect for hot days, and can be made with a variety of fruits, such as mango, banana, or strawberry. Nut-flavored bolu kemojo is a rich and indulgent treat that is perfect for special occasions, such as birthdays or weddings. In addition to its versatility and flavor, bolu kemojo is also incredibly versatile in its uses. It can be served as a sweet treat or a savory side dish, and can be used in a variety of recipes, such as trifle, tiramisu, or even as a crust for cheesecakes or pies. Overall, bolu kemojo is a beloved Indonesian treat that has become popular all over the world due to its delicious flavor and versatility. Whether you prefer it sweet or savory, in a pandan or cheese flavor, Bolu Kemojo is sure to satisfy your taste buds and leave you wanting more. So the next time you're looking for a tasty and unique treat, consider trying some of the many diverse forms of Bolu Kemojo that Indonesia has to offer. Despite its popularity, Bolu Kemojo remains a symbol of simplicity and pleasure in Indonesia. It is often enjoyed as a simple snack, served with a cup of tea or coffee. Bolu Kemojo is also a popular choice for special occasions, such as weddings or religious holidays, where it is served alongside other traditional Indonesian treats. In recent years, there has also been a renewed interest in traditional Indonesian baking techniques, including Bolu Kemojo. Many artisanal bakers are reviving old methods and using high-quality ingredients to create bolu kemojo that is truly exceptional. This renewed focus on quality and tradition has helped to cement bolu kemojo's place as a beloved icon of Indonesian cuisine. Bolu kemojo is not only a delicious treat, but also has cultural significance in Indonesia. It is often associated with special occasions, such as weddings, religious holidays, and other festive events. 
Bolu Kemojo has become a symbol of hospitality and generosity, as it is often served to guests as a sign of welcome and respect. Moreover, Bolu Kemojo has a long history in Indonesia. It is believed that the cake originated in the city of Padong, West Sumatra, and has since spread throughout the country. Bolu Kemojo has become a cherished part of Indonesian culinary heritage and is enjoyed by people of all ages and backgrounds. In addition to its cultural significance, Bolu Kemojo has also become a popular item in the international culinary scene. Its unique flavor and texture have made it a favorite among foodies and chefs around the world. Bolu Kemojo has been featured in food blogs and social media posts, and has even been incorporated into high-end cuisine. Despite its popularity, Bolu Kemojo remains a simple and humble treat that reflects the values of Indonesian culture. It is often made with basic ingredients and is a testament to the creativity and ingenuity of Indonesian bakers and chefs. Bolu Kemojo represents the spirit of hospitality, generosity, and creativity that is so deeply ingrained in Indonesian culture. In recent years, there has been a growing interest in preserving traditional Indonesian recipes, including Bolu Kemojo. Many Indonesian chefs and food enthusiasts are working to revive old recipes and techniques to ensure that Bolu Kemojo and other traditional treats continue to be enjoyed for generations to come. This renewed focus on tradition and quality has helped to cement Bolu Kemojo's place as a beloved icon of Indonesian cuisine. The popularity of Bolu Kemojo has also led to the development of new variations and adaptations of the traditional recipe. For example, some bakers have experimented with adding different herbs and spices to the batter, such as cinnamon, nutmeg, or cloves, to create a unique flavor profile. Others have added different types of nuts or dried fruits to the batter for extra texture and flavor. In addition, there are now gluten-free and vegan variations of Bolu Kemojo available, allowing those with dietary restrictions to enjoy this delicious treat. These adaptations use alternative ingredients, such as rice flour, almond flour, or coconut milk, to create a cake that is just as delicious as the original. Bolu Kemojo is not just a food item but also a representation of Indonesian cultural identity and pride. It is a symbol of the country's rich culinary heritage and an important part of its history. Bolu Kemojo is not just a cake, but also a representation of the Indonesian way of life, which values hospitality, creativity, and the joy of sharing good food with others. Despite its many variations, Bolu Kemojo remains a staple of Indonesian cuisine and culture. It is a beloved treat that can be found in markets, bakeries, and homes throughout the country. Bolu Kemojo is not just a cake, but also a symbol of the warmth and generosity of the Indonesian people. In recent years, Bolu Kemojo has also become a popular souvenir and gift item for tourists visiting Indonesia. It is often packaged in colorful boxes or wrapped in traditional batik fabric, making it a perfect souvenir to bring home to friends and family. Bolu Kemojo is also a popular gift item during weddings, religious holidays, and other special occasions, as it represents the warmth and generosity of Indonesian culture. Furthermore, Bolu Kemojo has gained recognition and attention from food critics and experts. It has been featured in numerous food festivals and competitions, both in Indonesia and abroad, and has received positive reviews for its unique flavor and texture. 
Bolu Kemojo has also been included in cookbooks and culinary magazines, further boosting its popularity and recognition. Despite its popularity, Bolu Kemojo remains a humble and simple treat that reflects the values of Indonesian culture. Algerian cuisine, couscous, Tunisian steamed rice dish, shakshuka, meat noodles. Mirgez, Algerian sausage, burek, cheese pie Algeria is a country known for its rich and diverse cuisine, influenced by a variety of cultures and traditions. Algerian cuisine is a fusion of Berber, Arabic, French, and Mediterranean influences, resulting in a unique blend of flavors and textures that are both savory and sweet. One of the most well-known Algerian dishes is couscous, a type of steamed semolina that is typically served with vegetables, meat, or fish. Couscous is a staple food in Algeria and is often considered the national dish. It is a versatile food that can be prepared in a variety of ways, depending on the region and the season. In some parts of Algeria, couscous is served with lamb, while in others, it is served with chicken or fish. Another popular Algerian dish is chakchuka, a type of pasta that is cooked with meat, vegetables, and spices. Chakchuka is a hearty and flavorful dish that is often served during special occasions, such as weddings or religious festivals. It is a dish that is meant to be shared with family and friends, and is often served in large portions. Merguez is another popular Algerian dish, a spicy sausage made with lamb or beef. It is often grilled and served with bread, and is a popular street food in Algeria. Merguez is a flavorful and spicy dish that is enjoyed by many Algerians, and is often served during festive occasions or family gatherings. Finally, burek is a popular Algerian pastry that is filled with cheese or meat. It is a savory pastry that is often served as an appetizer or snack, and is a favorite among Algerians. Burek is made with a flaky pastry dough and can be filled with a variety of ingredients, making it a versatile and delicious food. In addition to couscous, chakchuka, merguez, and burek, Algeria boasts a wide range of other delicious dishes that reflect the country's diverse culinary traditions. One such dish is tagine, a slow-cooked stew that is typically made with lamb, chicken, or beef along with a variety of vegetables and spices. Tagine is a hearty and flavorful dish that is often served with bread, making it a popular meal among Algerians. Another popular Algerian dish is shakshuka, a savory tomato-based sauce that is typically served with eggs and bread. Shakshuka is a staple food in Algeria and is often served for breakfast or brunch, although it can be enjoyed at any time of day. The dish is made with tomatoes, onions, garlic, and a variety of spices, making it a flavorful and satisfying meal. Batata hara is another popular Algerian dish, made with spicy roasted potatoes that are typically served as a side dish or snack. The potatoes are seasoned with a variety of spices, including cumin, paprika, and chili powder, giving them a delicious and spicy flavor. Batata hara is often served with a side of yogurt or tahini sauce, making it a perfect dish for sharing with friends and family. Finally, Algerian cuisine is known for its delicious sweets and desserts, including baklava, a pastry made with layers of phyllo dough and a sweet honey and nut filling. 
Baklava is a popular dessert in Algeria and is often served during special occasions, such as weddings or religious festivals. Another popular Algerian dessert is makroud, a sweet pastry made with semolina, dates, and honey. Makroud is a traditional Algerian dessert that is often served during Ramadan and is a favorite among Algerians. Algerian cuisine also features a variety of street foods and snacks that are popular among locals and visitors alike. One such snack is brick, a crispy pastry that is filled with a mixture of egg, tuna, and herbs. Brick is often served as an appetizer or snack and is a popular street food in Algeria. Another popular snack is makouda, a type of potato fritter that is seasoned with a variety of spices and herbs. Makouda is often served with harissa, a spicy chili pepper paste that is a staple in Algerian cuisine. Algerian cuisine also features a variety of drinks that are popular among locals. Mint tea is a staple drink in Algeria and is often served as a welcoming gesture to guests. The tea is made with green tea leaves, fresh mint, and sugar, and is a refreshing and invigorating drink that is enjoyed by many Algerians. Another popular drink is jalab, a sweet and fruity drink made with dates, grape molasses, and rose water. Jalab is often served during Ramadan and is a favorite among Algerians. Moreover, Algerian cuisine is heavily influenced by the country's history of colonization by the French. French-inspired dishes such as quiche, ratatouille, and bouillabaisse are popular in Algeria and can be found in many restaurants and cafes throughout the country. These dishes are often given an Algerian twist, incorporating local spices and ingredients to create unique and flavorful versions of these classic French dishes. Algerian cuisine also features a variety of vegetarian and vegan dishes that are both healthy and delicious. One such dish is chakshuka, a spicy tomato and pepper stew that is typically served for breakfast or brunch. Chakshuka is a flavorful and filling dish that is perfect for vegetarians and vegans, and is often served with bread or flatbread. Another popular vegetarian dish is saluk, a cooked salad made with eggplant, tomatoes, garlic, and spices. Saluk is a healthy and flavorful dish that is often served as a side dish or appetizer, and is a favorite among Algerians. It can be served cold or hot, depending on the season and the preference of the person making it. Algerian cuisine also features a variety of seafood dishes, thanks to the country's proximity to the Mediterranean Sea. One such dish is tagine of fish, a slow-cooked stew made with fish, tomatoes, peppers, and a variety of spices. Tagine of fish is a flavorful and healthy dish that is often served with bread or couscous and is a favorite among Algerians living near the coast. Finally, Algerian cuisine features a variety of breads that are a staple in the Algerian diet. Cobs, a round flatbread, is a staple bread in Algeria and is often served with meals, used to scoop up stews and sauces. Matla, a type of pita bread, is another popular bread in Algeria that is often used to make sandwiches or as a side dish. Algerian cuisine is also known for its use of spices and herbs, which add flavor and depth to many of the dishes. Rez El Hanout, 
a blend of spices that typically includes cumin, coriander, cinnamon, and cardamom, is a popular seasoning in Algerian cuisine and is used in many dishes, including tagine and couscous. Harissa, a spicy chili pepper paste, is another popular seasoning in Algerian cuisine that is used to add heat and flavor to many dishes. Algerian cuisine also features a variety of soups, including korba, a hearty soup made with meat, vegetables, and spices. Korba is a popular soup in Algeria, especially during the winter months, and is often served with bread or flatbread. Another popular soup is shorba frik, a soup made with lamb, vegetables, and cracked wheat. American cuisine, hamburger, beef sandwich, hot dog, sausage, fried chicken, fried chicken. Barbecue ribs, barbecue ribs American cuisine is a melting pot of flavors and influences from all around the world, resulting in a diverse and delicious culinary landscape. Among the most iconic American foods are the hamburger, hot dog, fried chicken, and barbecue ribs. The hamburger is a quintessential American food that has become a global favorite. It consists of a patty made of ground beef, which is cooked to perfection and served on a bun with various toppings such as lettuce, tomato, cheese, pickles, and condiments like ketchup and mustard. The hamburger is a staple on menus at fast food chains and diners across America, and has evolved to include a variety of variations, such as the cheeseburger, bacon burger, and veggie burger. Another popular American food is the hot dog, a type of sausage that is served on a soft bun and topped with various condiments, such as ketchup, mustard, relish, and onions. Hot dogs are a staple at sporting events and summer barbecues, and are often enjoyed with a side of potato chips or french fries. They are easy to prepare, portable, and delicious, making them a popular food across America. Fried chicken is another staple of American cuisine that has become popular around the world. It is made by seasoning chicken pieces with a blend of spices, then coating them in a batter or breading and frying them until crispy and golden brown. Fried chicken is often served with sides such as mashed potatoes, coleslaw, and biscuits, and is a comfort food that is enjoyed by many Americans. Barbecue ribs are a classic American food that is popular at summer barbecues and cookouts. They are made by seasoning pork ribs with a dry rub or marinade, then slow cooking them over a low flame until they are tender and juicy. Barbecue ribs are often served with a side of cornbread, baked beans, and coleslaw, and are enjoyed with a cold beer on a warm summer day. American cuisine also features a variety of regional and ethnic foods that reflect the country's diverse cultural influences. For example, Tex-Mex cuisine, which is a fusion of Mexican and American cuisines, is popular in the southern United States and features dishes such as tacos, enchiladas, and fajitas. Soul food, which is a cuisine that originated in the southern United States and features dishes such as collard greens, macaroni and cheese, and sweet potato pie, is popular among African Americans. In addition to the iconic American foods mentioned above, American cuisine is also known for its love of breakfast foods. Pancakes, waffles, and French toast are popular breakfast foods that are often served with maple syrup, butter, and whipped cream. Breakfast sandwiches, made with eggs, bacon or sausage, and cheese, are also a popular breakfast option, often served on a bagel or English muffin. Another famous American food is the pizza, which has become a global favorite. Pizza is made with a dough base, tomato sauce, and cheese, and can be topped with a variety of meats, vegetables, and other toppings. Pizza is a staple food in America, and is often enjoyed with a side of garlic bread and a cold soda. Seafood is also a popular part of American cuisine, especially in coastal regions. Clam chowder, a creamy soup made with clams, 
potatoes, and cream, is a popular dish in New England. Crab cakes, made with crab meat, breadcrumbs, and spices, are a popular dish in Maryland. Shrimp and grits, a dish made with shrimp and a creamy cornmeal-based porridge, is a popular dish in the southern United States. American cuisine also features a variety of sweets and desserts. Apple pie, a classic American dessert made with apples, sugar, and cinnamon, is often served with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Chocolate chip cookies, made with chocolate chips and buttery dough, are a popular cookie in America. Brownies, a dense and chocolatey dessert, are often served with a glass of milk. Finally, American cuisine is known for its love of barbecues and grilling. Barbecued meats, such as ribs, brisket, and pulled pork, are often slow-cooked over a low flame and served with a variety of sauces. Grilled vegetables, hamburgers, and hot dogs are also popular at barbecues and cookouts, especially during the summer months. American cuisine also features a variety of regional specialties that reflect the country's diverse geography and cultural influences. For example, Cajun and Creole cuisine, which originated in Louisiana, features dishes such as gumbo, jambalaya, and red beans and rice, all of which are seasoned with a blend of spices and herbs that is unique to the region. Texan cuisine is known for its love of beef, and features dishes such as chili con carne and steak, often served with a side of baked beans and cornbread. Mexican cuisine has also had a significant influence on American cuisine, especially in the southwestern United States. Tacos, burritos, and enchiladas are popular Mexican dishes that have become staples in American cuisine, often served with sides such as guacamole, salsa, and chips. Asian cuisine has also had a significant impact on American cuisine, with Chinese and Japanese dishes such as fried rice, lo mein, sushi, and tempura becoming popular across the country. Indian cuisine, with its rich spices and flavors, has also gained popularity in recent years, with dishes such as chicken tikka masala and naan bread becoming staples in many American households. In addition to these regional and ethnic specialties, American cuisine also features a variety of healthy and vegetarian options. Salad bars, smoothie bowls, and grain bowls are popular healthy options that can be found at many restaurants and cafes. Vegetarian and vegan options, such as veggie burgers, tofu stir-fry, and avocado toast, are also increasingly popular, reflecting a growing interest in plant-based diets. Macaroni and cheese is a classic comfort food that is enjoyed by many Americans. It is made with elbow macaroni, cheese, butter, and milk, and can be served as a side dish or as a main course. It is often baked in the oven with breadcrumbs on top for added texture and flavor. Fajitas are a Tex-Mex specialty that have become popular across the United States. They consist of grilled meat, usually chicken or beef, served with sautéed peppers and onions, and are often served with tortillas, salsa, guacamole, and sour cream. Fajitas are a fun and interactive dish that is often served sizzling on a cast iron skillet, allowing diners to assemble their own custom fajitas. Clam bakes are a New England tradition that involves steaming lobsters, clams, corn, and potatoes in a large pot over an open flame. The resulting feast is often served on tables covered in newspaper, and is enjoyed with butter, lemon, and a cold beer. Finally, American cuisine features a variety of beverages that are enjoyed across the country. Soda, or pop as it is sometimes called in certain regions, is a popular carbonated beverage that is often served with meals. Iced tea and lemonade are refreshing beverages that are enjoyed on hot summer days, while coffee is a staple beverage that is enjoyed by many Americans throughout the day. American cuisine also features a variety of sweet treats that are enjoyed by people of all ages. One of the most iconic American desserts is the apple pie, 
which is made with a flaky crust and filled with sweet and tart apples, cinnamon, and sugar. It is often served warm with a scoop of vanilla ice cream, and is a popular dessert during the fall season. Pat Bingsu, a typical Korean dessert. Pat Bingsu, or red bean shaved ice, is a beloved dessert that is enjoyed by many in South Korea. This sweet and refreshing treat is especially popular during the summer months, when the weather is hot and humid. In this article, we will explore the history, ingredients, and cultural significance of Pat Bingsu. History of Pat Bingsu Pat Bingsu has a long history that dates back to the Joseon Dynasty, 1392-1910, when it was originally made with shaved ice and sweetened red bean paste. At the time, it was a luxury dessert that was reserved for the royal court and the wealthy elite. Over time, Pat Bingsu became more widely available and affordable, and its popularity grew among the general population. During the 20th century, Pat Bingsu underwent several changes and adaptations, with new ingredients and flavors added to the traditional recipe. Today, Pat Bingsu can be found in a variety of forms, from the classic version with red bean paste and shaved ice, to modern variations that include fruits, syrups, and ice cream. Ingredients of Pat Bingsu the classic Pat Bingsu recipe consists of shaved ice, sweetened red bean paste, and condensed milk. The shaved ice is usually made from frozen water that is shaved into thin, delicate flakes using a special machine. The red bean paste is made from boiled and mashed red beans that are sweetened with sugar and honey. The condensed milk is drizzled over the top of the shaved ice, adding a creamy and sweet flavor to the dessert. In addition to these traditional ingredients, modern versions of Pat Bingsu often include a variety of toppings such as fresh fruits, nuts, cereal, mochi, glutinous rice cakes, and ice cream. Some popular fruit toppings include strawberries, kiwis, mangoes, and blueberries, while nuts such as almonds, Walnuts and peanuts are often added for crunch and texture. Cultural Significance of Pat Bingsu Pat Bingsu is more than just a dessert in South Korea, it is a cultural icon that represents the country's culinary heritage and identity. It is often enjoyed as a social activity, with friends and family gathering at cafes and restaurants to share a bowl of Pat Bingsu and chat. In addition, Pat Bingsu has become a popular export, with Korean restaurants and cafes serving the dessert in countries around the world. This has helped to spread awareness of Korean cuisine and culture, and has contributed to the growing popularity of Pat Bingsu on the global stage. In recent years, Pat Bingsu has undergone even more transformations to cater to the changing tastes and preferences of modern consumers. These days, it's common to find Pat Bingsu made with matcha green tea, chocolate, or even cheese. Some shops have even started offering savory versions of Pat Bingsu, with ingredients like bacon and cheese, or tomato and basil. One popular variation of Pat Bingsu is Injimi Pat Bingsu, which features cubes of chewy rice cake made from glutinous rice flour, called injimi, on top of the shaved ice. Injimi is a traditional Korean snack that is often eaten on its own or used as an ingredient in other desserts. When added to Pat Bingsu, it provides a delightful contrast in texture and flavor, and adds a nutty and slightly sweet taste to the dish. Another popular variation is Fruit Pat Bingsu, which features a medley of fresh fruit on top of the shaved ice. This version is perfect for those who want a lighter and healthier version of the dessert, as it is often made without the red bean paste or condensed milk. 
Patbingsu has also become a popular dessert to enjoy during special occasions and holidays in South Korea. During the winter months, it's common to find Patbingsu made with sweet potatoes, chestnuts, and other seasonal ingredients. And during the Lunar New Year, Patbingsu is often served with a variety of traditional Korean snacks, such as rice cakes and dried fruits. Patbingsu has also become a popular dessert to enjoy at home, with many people buying pre-packaged Patbingsu kits that contain all the necessary ingredients to make the dessert at home. These kits often include packets of shaved ice, red bean paste, and condensed milk, as well as instructions on how to assemble the dessert. Making Patbingsu at home can be a fun and creative activity, as there are endless possibilities for customization and personalization. Some people like to add their own toppings, such as fresh fruit, cereal, or nuts, while others like to experiment with different flavors and ingredients, such as green tea powder or coffee. One of the advantages of making Pat Bingsu at home is that it allows people to control the amount of sugar and other ingredients that go into the dessert. This makes it a healthier option for those who are watching their sugar intake or have dietary restrictions. Pat Bingsu has also gained popularity outside of South Korea, thanks to the growing interest in Korean culture and cuisine around the world. In recent years, Korean cafes and restaurants have opened in many cities around the world, bringing with them the unique flavors and textures of Pat Bingsu. In addition to its delicious taste and refreshing qualities, Pat Bingsu has also become a symbol of Korean identity and culture. It represents the country's long history, culinary traditions, and commitment to innovation and creativity. Whether enjoyed in a traditional form or as a modern variation, Pat Bingsu is a dessert that is sure to delight and satisfy anyone who tries it. One of the reasons for Pat Bingsu's popularity is its versatility. It can be enjoyed as a dessert, a snack, or even as a meal replacement on hot summer days. Many people in South Korea also believe that Pat Bingsu has health benefits, as it is made with natural ingredients and is a good source of hydration. In addition, Pat Bingsu has also become an important part of Korean popular culture. It has been featured in numerous Korean dramas, movies, and TV shows and is often used as a symbol of summer, youth, and love. In fact, Pat Bingsu has become so popular that it even has its own holiday in South Korea, Pat Bingsu Day, which is celebrated on July 14. Another reason for Pat Bingsu's popularity is aesthetic appeal. Many cafes and restaurants in South Korea serve Pat Bingsu in beautiful and elaborate presentations, with colorful toppings and decorations that are almost too pretty to eat. These visually stunning desserts have become a popular subject for social media posts and have helped to spread the word about Pat Bingsu to a wider audience. Despite its popularity, Pat Bingsu continues to evolve and adapt to changing tastes and trends. In recent years, there has been a growing interest in vegan and gluten-free versions of the dessert, as well as variations made with alternative sweeteners and ingredients. This has helped to make Pat Bingsu more inclusive and accessible to people with different dietary needs and preferences. In conclusion, Pat Bingsu is a delicious and versatile. Pat Bingsu has also become a popular dessert for tourists visiting South Korea. Many visitors are drawn to the dessert because of its unique taste and cultural significance, and seek out cafes and restaurants that specialize in Pat Bingsu. Some even make it a point to try different variations of Pat Bingsu from different regions of the country, which can vary in their ingredients and presentation. In addition, 
Pat Bingsu has also become a popular dessert for Korean Americans and other Korean diaspora communities around the world. Many Korean restaurants and cafes in the United States, Canada, and other countries offer Pat Bingsu on their menus, providing a taste of home for those who are far away from their native country. Pat Bingsu has also inspired other countries to create their own versions of the dessert. In Japan, for example, there is a similar dessert called kakigori, which is made with shaved ice and sweet syrups. In the Philippines, there is a dessert called Halo Halo, which features shaved ice, sweetened beans, fruits, and other toppings. How to make delicious baked rice paper in the right way Bon Trang Nguyen, or Vietnamese grilled rice paper, is a popular street food in Vietnam that has gained popularity around the world. This snack is made by grilling a thin sheet of rice paper until it becomes crispy, and then topping it with a variety of savory ingredients. In this article, we will explore the history, ingredients, and techniques for making Bon Trang Nguyen that is both delicious and authentic. History of Bon Trang Nguyen Bon Trang Nguyen has its origins in the southern region of Vietnam, where it was first sold as a street food snack in the 1990s. At the time, it was a simple and inexpensive snack that was popular among students and workers. Over time, Bon Trang Nguyen became more widely available and popular, and its popularity spread to other regions of Vietnam and beyond. Today, Bon Trang Nguyen is a popular snack that can be found in markets, street food stalls, and restaurants throughout Vietnam and in other countries around the world. It has become a symbol of Vietnamese street food culture, and is enjoyed by both locals and tourists alike. Ingredients for Bon Trang Nguyen The basic ingredients for Bon Trang Nguyen are rice paper, oil, and toppings. The rice paper used for Bon Trang Nguyen is thin and delicate, and comes in round or square sheets. The oil used for grilling the rice paper can be either vegetable oil or pork fat depending on personal preference. The toppings for Bon Trang Nguyen can vary widely, but typically include minced pork or beef, quail eggs, green onions, and cheese. Other popular toppings for Bon Trang Nguyen include dried shrimp, peanuts, fried shallots, and chili sauce. These toppings can be mixed and matched to create a variety of different flavor combinations, depending on personal preference. Techniques for making Bon Trang Nguyen The key to making delicious Bon Trang Nguyen is to grill the rice paper until it becomes crispy, but not burnt. To do this, start by brushing the rice paper with oil or pork fat, and then grilling it over a medium-high flame until it turns golden brown and crispy. Be sure to watch the rice paper closely while grilling, as it can burn quickly if left unattended. Once the rice paper is grilled, it can be topped with the desired ingredients. Begin by spreading a layer of minced pork or beef over the rice paper, and then add the quail eggs, green onions, and cheese. Finish by sprinkling the toppings on top, and then grilling the Bon Trang Nguyen for an additional 1-2 to two minutes, until the cheese is melted and the toppings are heated through. Variations of Bon Trang Nguyen there are many variations of Bon Trang Nguyen, each with its own unique flavor and texture. One popular variation is Bon Trang Nguyen with egg, which includes a whole fried egg on top of the grilled rice paper. This version is often served with a side of chili sauce or soy sauce for dipping. Another popular variation is Bon Trang Nguyen with seafood, which includes a variety of seafood toppings such as shrimp, squid, and fish. This version is often served with a side of lime and chili sauce for added flavor. In recent years, there has also been a growing interest in vegetarian and vegan versions of Bon Trang Nguyen, which use plant-based toppings such as tofu, mushrooms, and vegetables. 
In addition to being a popular street food snack, Bon Trang Nguong has also become a popular party food in Vietnam. It is often served at weddings, birthdays, and other special occasions, and is a favorite among both adults and children. Many people also enjoy making Bon Trang Nguong at home, using their own preferred toppings and seasonings. One of the advantages of making Bon Trang Nguong at home is that it allows for greater creativity and experimentation with flavors and ingredients. Some people like to add their own unique toppings, such as bacon, avocado, or pickled vegetables. While others like to experiment with different seasonings and sauces, such as garlic, honey, or hoisin sauce. Making Bon Trang Nguong at home is relatively easy and requires only a few key ingredients and equipment. In addition to the rice paper, oil, and toppings, you will need a grill or oven to cook the Bon Trang Nguong, as well as a baking sheet or grilling tray to place the rice paper on. To make Bon Trang Nguong at home, start by brushing the rice paper with oil or pork fat, and then grilling it over a medium-high flame until it turns golden brown and crispy. Next, add the desired toppings and seasonings, and then grill the Bon Trang Nguong for an additional 1-2 to two minutes, until the cheese is melted and the toppings are heated through. Serve hot and enjoy! As with many street food snacks, Bon Trang Nguong is often enjoyed as a quick and easy meal on the go. It can be found at food stalls and markets throughout Vietnam, and is a favorite among students, workers, and tourists alike. In addition to its delicious taste, Bon Trang Nguong is also an affordable and convenient snack, making it a popular choice for people who are on a budget or in a hurry. One of the unique aspects of Bon Trang Nguong is the variety of toppings and seasonings that can be used to customize the snack to personal taste preferences. Some people prefer a spicier version with chili sauce or sriracha, while others prefer a sweeter version with honey or condensed milk. The toppings can also be adjusted to include more or less meat, or to include additional vegetables or herbs. Another unique aspect of Bon Trang Nguong is the social aspect of eating it. In Vietnam, Bon Trang Nguong is often enjoyed with friends or family, and is a common snack to share while sitting and chatting on small plastic stools. This communal aspect of eating Bon Trang Nguong is an important part of Vietnamese street food culture, and adds to the enjoyment and social experience of eating the snack. In recent years, Bon Trang Nguong has also gained popularity as a trendy and Instagram-worthy food. Many restaurants and cafes in Vietnam and around the world have created unique and visually stunning versions of Bon Trang Nguong, using creative toppings, sauces, and presentations. These visually stunning snacks have become a popular subject for social media posts, and have helped to spread the popularity of Bon Trang Nguong to a wider audience. Bon Trang Nguong has also become a popular item at food festivals and events around the world, where it is often showcased alongside other street foods from different cultures. These events provide an opportunity for people to try new and exciting foods, and to experience the cultural diversity and richness of different cuisines. In addition, Bon Trang Nguong has also become a popular menu item at Vietnamese restaurants and cafes around the world. Many Vietnamese restaurants offer Bon Trang Nguong as an appetizer or snack item, and some cafes even specialize in Bon Trang Nguong, offering a variety of different toppings and flavor combinations. For people who want to try making Bon Trang Nguong at home, there are many recipes and tutorials available online. These resources provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to make Bon Trang Nguong, as well as tips for selecting the best ingredients and toppings. Making Bon Trang Nguong at home is a fun and rewarding activity that can be enjoyed with friends and family, and allows for greater experimentation and creativity with flavors and ingredients. In addition to being a delicious snack, Bon Trang Nguong also has some nutritional benefits. Rice paper, which is the main ingredient of Bon Trang Nguong, is low in calories and fat, 
and is a good source of carbohydrates. The toppings, which can include protein-rich ingredients such as minced pork, beef, or quail eggs, can provide a balanced and satisfying snack that can help to sustain energy levels throughout the day. Learn about Dutch poffertjes. Poffertjes is a traditional Dutch delicacy that has been enjoyed for centuries. These small, fluffy pancakes are a favorite among both locals and tourists, and can be found at food stalls and cafes throughout the Netherlands. In this article, we will explore the history, ingredients, preparation, and cultural significance of poffertjes. History Poffertjes have a long and rich history in Dutch cuisine. The origins of poffertjes can be traced back to the 17th century, when they were first made by street vendors in the cities of Amsterdam and Utrecht. Initially, poffertjes were made using buckwheat flour, and were sold as a cheap and filling snack for the working class. Over time, Poffertjes became more popular and were enjoyed by people of all social classes. Today, poffertjes are made using a mixture of wheat flour, milk, eggs, and yeast, and are often served with butter and powdered sugar. Ingredients The ingredients used to make poffertjes are relatively simple and easy to find. The main ingredients include wheat flour, milk, eggs, yeast, sugar, and salt. Some recipes also call for vanilla extract or lemon zest, which can add additional flavor to the pancakes. Preparation To make poffertjes, a special cast iron pan with small, shallow indentations is needed. The pan is heated over a low flame and a small amount of butter or oil is added to each indentation. The pancake batter is then poured into each indentation, and the poffertjes are cooked until they are golden brown on both sides. Once the poffertjes are cooked, they are removed from the pan and served immediately with a generous dusting of powdered sugar and a pat of butter. Some people also like to add toppings such as whipped cream, fruit, or chocolate sauce. Cultural Significance Poffertjes are a beloved and iconic part of Dutch cuisine and culture. They are often enjoyed as a snack or dessert, and are a popular menu item at cafes and food stalls throughout the Netherlands. In addition, poffertjes are also a common sight at Dutch festivals and events, where they are often served hot and fresh from the pan. In addition to their delicious taste, poffertjes also have cultural significance as a symbol of Dutch hospitality and friendliness. Sharing a plate of poffertjes with friends or family is a social activity that brings people together and fosters a sense of community. Furthermore, Poffertjes have also gained popularity around the world as a trendy and Instagram-worthy food. Many cafes and restaurants in other countries have started to offer poffertjes on their menu. And some even specialize in creating unique and visually stunning variations of the traditional Dutch delicacy. Despite their popularity, poffertjes are relatively simple and easy to make at home. There are many recipes and tutorials available online, which provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to make poffertjes using a special poffertjes pan or a regular pancake pan. Making poffertjes at home is a fun and rewarding activity that can be enjoyed with family and friends, and allows for greater experimentation and creativity with flavors and toppings. In recent years, Poffertjes have also become a popular item at food festivals and events around the world, where they are often showcased alongside other international street foods. 
These events provide an opportunity for people to try new and exciting foods, and to experience the cultural diversity and richness of different cuisines. Furthermore, poffertjes have also become a popular menu item at Dutch restaurants and cafes around the world. Many Dutch restaurants offer poffertjes as a dessert or snack item, and some cafes even specialize in poffertjes, offering a variety of different toppings and flavor combinations. For people who want to try something new and unique, there are also many creative variations of poffertjes available. Some chefs have added ingredients such as bacon, cheese, or Nutella to their poffertjes, resulting in unique and delicious flavor combinations. These creative variations of the traditional poffertjes have helped to spread the popularity of poffertjes to a wider audience around the world. In addition to being a tasty treat, poffertjes also have some nutritional benefits. While they are a sweet snack, they are relatively low in calories and fat, making them a better choice than some other desserts or sweets. They also contain protein and carbohydrates, which can provide a quick energy boost, making them a great snack for busy days or before a workout. However, it is important to note that poffertjes are often served with generous amounts of butter and powdered sugar, which can add calories and sugar. It is important to enjoy poffertjes in moderation and to balance them with other healthy foods as part of a balanced and nutritious diet. In terms of cultural significance, poffertjes are more than just a snack or dessert. They are a symbol of Dutch culture and heritage, and are often enjoyed as part of traditional celebrations and festivals. For example, Poffertjes are a common sight at Dutch Christmas markets, where they are served hot and fresh from the pan. And are enjoyed with friends and family while walking around and admiring the holiday lights. Furthermore, poffertjes are also a symbol of Dutch hospitality and friendliness. Sharing a plate of poffertjes with friends or family is a social activity that brings people together and fosters a sense of community. In addition, the warm and comforting nature of poffertjes makes them a perfect snack for cold winter days or rainy afternoons, and they are often enjoyed while sitting in cozy cafes or restaurants. Aside from their cultural and culinary significance, poffertjes have also played a role in the Dutch economy. The production and sale of poffertjes have created job opportunities in the food industry including the manufacturing of poffertjes pans, mixers, and other equipment needed to make the pancakes. In addition, the popularity of poffertjes has helped to boost tourism in the Netherlands, as visitors come from around the world to try this unique and delicious Dutch delicacy. Poffertjes have also inspired other countries and cultures to create their own versions of the pancakes. In Japan, for example, a similar snack called taiyaki is made using a fish-shaped mold and filled with sweet red bean paste. In Denmark, a similar snack called abliskua is made using a special pan and is often served with jam or powdered sugar. In recent years, there has been a growing interest in traditional foods and culinary heritage around the world, and poffertjes are no exception. Many Dutch chefs and foodies have started to explore and experiment with new and creative ways to serve poffertjes. Incorporating different ingredients and flavors to create unique and exciting variations. Some chefs have experimented with savory poffertjes, using ingredients such as cheese, bacon, or herbs to create new and unexpected flavor combinations. Others have created sweet variations, such as poffertjes with chocolate sauce, fruit compote, or caramel. 
these creative variations have helped to keep poffertjes relevant and exciting, and have introduced the traditional Dutch delicacy to new generations of food lovers. In addition, there has been a growing interest in using organic and locally sourced ingredients in the production of poffertjes. Many Dutch food producers and chefs are now using high-quality, organic flour, milk, and eggs to make their poffertjes, and are sourcing their ingredients from local farms and suppliers.